Well, stem cells basically are pluripotential or early cells either within your body or from another human body. Within your human body, it's called an autograph. You're taking it from yourself. Or an allograph means it's coming from another person. The idea is that these cells are early cells or stem cells that can differentiate into different types of body tissue. For example, here, we would look that those stem cells would differentiate into cartilage cells to heal damaged cartilage on the surface of the joint. So stem cells, as I said, can come from your own body or they can come from other people's bodies and they can come from a number of sources. They can come from within your bone. So uh, to access that, obviously you have to drill into the bone to access. There are also stem cells that can come from fat tissue. Also, they can come from certain elements in your blood. Then those are harvested and then delivered back. So that's why it's sometimes it's quicker or faster to take allograft from other people's bodies. But also, probably the more, most effective are probably coming from your own human body. But those are obviously some more painful because you have to harvest them, process the cells, but then they would be re-injected into a joint either on one occasion or multiple occasions. We're actually doing research now to develop technology also that will allow continuous flow of stem cells from your own bone into your joints. And we have some patents and technology we've developed there as well. One of the main challenges is unfortunately insurance coverage. These can be somewhat expensive. They can be a thousand to five thousand dollars and insurance carriers often don't cover them because there's no long-term studies on this. So it's somewhat challenging, but many patients can have tremendous effects with these and preserve their own joints. Hopefully if we can catch this early enough, it may give you some long lasting results. Other people argue is this a temporizing procedure? Are we simply helping these patients gain time and buy more time for their existing joint? And that depends on the severity of the disease. If you're bone rubbing against bone, the chance of a stem cell being less effective than if you have cracks or fissures or there may be exposed bone on the upper femur as opposed to both the femur and the tibia, for example, in a knee joint. So depending on the severity of disease, uh, if it's early disease, you may be able to basically slow or potentially stop the progression of arthritis. In more advanced disease, it may be more of a temporizing procedure. But if you can gain people months to years of life out of their existing joint, that adds substantial value.